Let's put an image on the back wall. Go to File, Import, and bring in as a texture a photograph. It helps if it's roughly proportional to the face you'll ultimately be painting it on. Then paint it on a different face made just for this purpose. That face doesn't have to be the size of the picture. If you move the face, you'll see that more of the picture appears. Now notice that it's tiling. Tiling means the photo is repeating, and that will be an issue when you paint it onto the back wall. Now to paint it, select it, right click, choose Texture Projected, then click on the paint bucket, the sample eyedropper, click on the picture, and then the back wall. Now it looks pretty good except that there's a noticeable tile at the top and the bottom. Now you can try to finesse that by right clicking, going to texture and position, and repositioning the photo, and then repainting it onto the back wall. And sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. This looks even worse. Let's try repositioning it again. and then painting again. Well, that looks better. We just have that strip up at the top from the tile that we'll try to finesse by changing the tile size. Click on the image, and then experiment with different sizes in the text fields. This one worked, so we'll go with it. Now notice that these panels are showing up those are the polygon edges of the arc, actually. And to get a smoother appearance, you could select the arc and through its Entity Info box, increase the number of polygons. However, you'd have to do that up at the top also. We'll just leave it alone. What we will do is return to the image and change its opacity. That will make it look less like a photo and more like an image behind a window. Now I'm going to bring in some columns, pre-made columns I made earlier. I'm bringing them in now so that I could paint the back wall as one complete face. If I had put the columns in first, then I would have had to have painted three different images and sometimes that works depending on the image you've brought in and sometimes it's more difficult. Here I've hidden some walls to make placing the columns easier. Now I'll unhide them and then I'll sample the walls to paint the columns. And there you have the final image.